this ceiling works really well in any room. Now Sophie shows us how she painted a home office and a bedroom. Sharon, the color inspiration behind this bedroom really came from the headboard that I made. I love that. You're so good with a DIY project, Sophie. Now the color is a perfect match to Gentleman's Grey. I love how you painted the bulkhead, everything for impact. And you used an eggshell sheen? Yes, I did. <laughs> so. I kept the wall matte, everything is matte, but what's important to remember here is that when you use a strong color like Gentleman's Grey, you don't want to put a, a white color on the wall because it's going to create too much contrast. So here I've used Wish, a simple and light grey mm -hmm. to complement the room. It's perfect and you get on the trim and the doors so it keeps everything consistent which is a great trick for a small room. Well, this is a nice small room, which is perfect for an office, but again, the pop of color, it looks great in the ceiling. Yeah, shut, shut up. up. <laughs> Our 2017 color. What I did here is that I'll counterbalance the shadow color to do that with the ceiling. area rug. Um, it's so, a nice fuchsia tone too, it's not so matchy-matchy. Yeah, no need fun. to keep the exact same color. Also, with a strong ceiling, I placed the artwork a little bit lower to mm. keep it to the eye level and not draw too much attention to the gorgeous the ceiling. ceiling. Exactly. Now in the artwork too, I love the hits of gold. It's very glam, but it's not overdone. And then it really outlines these beautiful architectural pieces. I love that. And since the accent is very graphic, mm -hmm. I chose simple white desks. So it disappear and it vanish with the white walls and the curtains. Well, I think I could work in here. Good job. <laughs>